Welcome to the San Juan Islands, Washington, USA. The islands are famous for their abundance of orca whales. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love the San Juan Islands. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to the San Juan Islands, Washington, USA. Population around 20,000. Now just for context, we have a map here. We have circled the San Juan Islands. The San Juan Islands are a three hour and 45 minute ferry ride from Seattle. Now this video will provide 10 reasons why people love the San Juan Islands. People love the San Juan Islands because of the whale watching. A major appeal of the San Juan Islands is the chance to see whales in the water. These magnificent mammals live in the region year round, but the peak season for whale watching is between June and September. Humpback and gray whales all make an appearance around the San Juan Islands, but the region is best known perhaps for the orcas, also known as killer whales. These black and white predators are not only awe-inspiring to see in the wild, but they hold significant cultural value in the region. Visitors can spot whales from the land at places like Lime Kiln Point State Park, also known as Whale Watch Park. But the best bet for whale sightings is to take a guided boat tour. And on San Juan Island and Orcas Island, several whale watching companies offer half day and full day excursions. People of the San Juan Islands because of Moran State Park. On the east side of Orcas Island, Moran State Park is a crown jewel natural space of the San Juan Archipelago. It encompasses over 5,000 acres of wild terrain. These varied landscapes include five lakes, acres of forest, and the high point of San Juan Islands, Mount Constitution. The state park has over 130 campsites and over 30 miles of multi-use trails. The state park also facilitates non-motorized boating with launches on mountain and cascade lakes. Boat rentals are available throughout the summer. Moran State Park is worth the travel to Orcas Island alone and while visiting a must do on Orcas Island is ascending to the top of Mount Constitution. Visitors can hike, ride a bike or drive their car up the approximately 2,400 foot peak. Here the views include Mount Baker looming to the east. People of the San Juan Islands because of American camp and English camp. In the late 1850s, San Juan Island hosted a unique series of events in world history. The 1846 Treaty of Oregon established the boundary of the 49th parallel but left San Juan Island in ambiguous territory. This uncertainty led to the American camp and an English camp on the island and in 1859, the two camps nearly clashed over the death of a farm animal, an event known as the Pig War. San Juan Islands National Historic Park encompasses the American camp on the south side and the English camp on the north, and visitors should etch some time out to visit both. Each camp has surviving structures that help paint the picture of 1850s camp life, and the interpretive areas detail important events, including the eventual peaceful arbitration of the Pig War. People of the San Juan Islands because of Lime Kiln Point State Park. The park is on the west side of San Juan Island, accessible via the San Juan Island Scenic Byway. It's also known as Whale Watch Park, thanks to its magnificent saltwater vantage point. From the parking area at this day U state park, it's only a short walk to the rocky shoreline. Picnic tables and interpretive information line the shoreline at Lime Kiln Point State Park. Here, bring a packed lunch and some binoculars to sit and enjoy the show. Interpretive information in this area helps identify the fins pointing out of the water. And several trees and a dramatic coastline ensure stunning coastal beauties, even if no whales are present. The Lime Kiln Lighthouse adds even more visual attraction to the state park. This active navigation aid poses brilliantly for photographs and is accessible with less than a quarter mile walk. With several picnic tables all around, the lighthouse offers one of the best picnic spots on the San Juan Islands. People of the San Juan Islands because of the paddling trips. One of the best ways to experience the San Juan Islands is to get on the water and paddle around. Visitors can walk their non-motorized boats onto the Washington State ferries. Alternatively, the main islands have plenty of rentals. Companies on San Juan Island and Orcas Island 
also offers several guided paddling trips. These guided adventures include whale watching expeditions, paddle and picnic tours, and gourmet kayak trips with first class meals. A few companies to look into on the San Juan Island include Crystal Seas Kayaking, San Juan Kayaking Expeditions, and Discovery Sea Kayaks. People of the San Juan Islands because of the shopping and dining. Several small communities dot the San Juan Islands, offering a fresh taste of island life and local culture. One of the most visited is Friday Harbor on San Juan Island. This charming community greets visitors the moment they step off the ferry. Here, Spring Street stretches up a hill with the branching side streets of the downtown district. Friday Harbor is fun to wander for several reasons. This downtown corridor caters to all senses with lavender shops and fresh caught menus at local restaurants. And with places like the Whale Museum and the San Juan Museum of Art, it's also a spot to gain valuable insight about the region. People of San Juan Islands because of the local art. There's something about the coastal atmosphere of the San Juan Islands that inspires eye-catching art. Throughout the archipelago, from city streets to old growth forest, several artistic spaces offer an afternoon of perusing. Both Friday Harbor and East Sound Village have a collection of art galleries open to the public, and places like Island Studios, Arctic Raven Gallery, and Orcas Island Artworks all feature well-lit galleries and a multitude of art. People of the San Juan Islands because of Turtleback Mountain Preserve. Turtleback Mountain is a quintessential hiking destination on Orcas Island. It's on the island's west side with a southern trailhead less than five miles from the ferry terminal. This proximity to the ferry terminal makes it a popular trailhead to arrive by bicycle. The San Juan Preservation Trust oversees 1,578 acres of the preserve, including its eight mile trail network. There's a route that leads to the summit and connects to south and north trailhead. But for the best views overlooking the water, consider hiking the Ship Peak Loop. It's a three mile round trip on Ship Peak Loop from the south trailhead. Near the middle, dramatic overlooks of the sea soothe the sore legs acquired while hiking to the top. This vantage point is well worth the effort and strategic benches offer a place to sit and take in the scene. People of the San Juan Islands because of the farmer's markets. The San Juan Islands offer ample opportunity to bite into something crisp. Across the remote regions of the archipelago, private and public farms take advantage of the favorable growing conditions. And one of the best ways to fill a shopping bag is to attend an island farmer's market. San Juan Island, Orcas Islands, and Lopez Islands have farmer's markets on Saturdays between May and September. The San Juan Island Farmer Market extends into March and October. At either three markets, expect rows of stalls and vendors displaying their fresh produce, handmade home goods, and a variety of hot foods. People of the San Juan Islands because of the Afterglow Vista Mausoleum. For a surreal side trip during the day, the Afterglow Vista Mausoleum on San Juan Island is worth the detour. This family's memorial is tucked into the forest on the island's north side and dates back to the 1930s. It contains the remains of John S. McMillan and his family, and stumbling across his detailed tomb inspires a sense of awe and wonder. The designated parking area for the mausoleum is a few blocks from the San Juan Island Sculpture Park. From here, it's a short walk to the scattered plots of the Roche Harbor Cemetery. Follow a few faded signs through the woods and the mausoleum eventually stands out against the wood line. The reasons provided in this video are not all the reasons why people love the San Juan Islands. If you've got a reason why you love the San Juan Islands, pop it in the comment section. I'll make another video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Ciao for now!